Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I hope all is well. This is a message for the sign of Pisces. Please be reminded that this may or may not resonate. Please check your other placements. Check other readings also. Good morning, Pisces. It's very, very early. It is 7.30 a.m. Let's get you a reading. Let's see what you need to be aware of. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to the channel. I appreciate you. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you here. Let's see what you need to be aware of, Pisces. Oh, we've got the star, the three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Some of you could be experiencing some sort of glow up in your money, your work. You're looking good. You're on good, good form. You're in top form. Definitely the man or the woman of the hour at this time. There's a buzz around your name, whatever it is that you're doing, whether this is your own business. Some of you could definitely be trying your hand at entrepreneurship, something like that. Wow, this is nice. High Priestess, the Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. You could have somebody who you are either not speaking to, um, or there's very little communication between the two of you. This could be a water sign, Pisces. They feel... They miss you. The justice. This could be a Libra. Could be a Pisces as well. Water sign. Um, it's like I'm seeing one person is over here sort of winning. Definitely um, on top of their game in terms of how they're looking. How they are coming across. Their money. Um, their work. Work looks good. Money looks good. Stability looks good. Health is looking good for you, Pisces. And um, it's like somebody feels like on, they're on the outside. Tell me about the tower. Ten of Wands. The Judgment and the Six of Wands. I feel like you're going to be very shocked to hear from someone, Pisces. Very shocked to hear from someone. You've got someone here who wants some sort of second opportunity with you, another chance with you. Yeah, with the sun. This person could be coming to the realisation that you are where they um, want to be. You bring some sort of source of happiness to them. They could definitely view you as very, very successful. They could also view you as somebody who is very unbothered with them or not really giving them the time of day. Yeah, with the Four of Wands. This could even be somebody who is... Um, you've had an encounter with this person before. Doesn't necessarily have to be an ex as such. For some of you, it could be. But I'm really kind of getting somebody who maybe you spoke to for a bit. Or there was kind of like a suggestion of dating somewhat. And it didn't really go there. And you're quite happy to kind of get on with things. And then you've got someone here who's like looking at you like... Are you just going to let me sit here like... Can Pisces not see me? <laughs> Somebody definitely views you as self-made, very successful. Six of Cups. You definitely could have had some sort of rise from your past. It's like um, the energy of coming up type of energy. The energy of doing a lot better now with the Strength card. A lot of resilience. There's something about sticking at something as well. You've definitely been successful in sticking at something, whether this is growing a business, whether this is just um, tending to yourself, your own needs here. With the hermit, you definitely could have gone through some sort of period of um, definitely um, self-mastery here. There's some level of self-mastery that you could have gone through and it's really showing. It's really showing. You definitely have a secret admirer over here who's looking at you like, oh my gosh, Pisces. What's the Ten of Wands? A devil. Is this a different person than this? A hierophant. 
Two of Swords. Mm, I feel like you've got two people with the Empress. You are definitely showing up and showing out, whether you are consciously doing it or not, Pisces. Taurus energy, strong Taurus energy could be a Capricorn. Um, some of you have got two people. Some of you may have an admirer who feels like the focus is definitely not on them at this time. Um, and then there's another person, could be a Capricorn or a Taurus, who is feeling guilty about something that they've done in the past. This is definitely someone who may not have treated you the best, Pisces. And this person could be, what you don't see is that this person could be coming in to try and get another chance with you also. It's like you've got it coming from both sides, from all different directions. People wanting to get your attention here. This is definitely a past person um, with this devil energy, with the king of cups and the queen of cups. Wow. King and queen of cups. With the empress still here. Somebody could want to um, have a child with you. This could be something that they think about a lot. Somebody feels like you are theirs, but this is somebody, what happened with this? This is somebody who you didn't have the best past with. The Wheel of Fortune, there was an opportunity. What happened in the past? Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords with the Four of Cups. Did somebody ignore you? Somebody had a bright idea and thought it was a great idea to walk away from Pisces, run away from Pisces and ignore you with the Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody left abruptly. And why is that? Because they wanted to be single. This person was immature. They still wanted to kind of sow their royal oats type of energy. See what else was out there with the chariot card. Somebody left you, Pisces. This is someone who left you. And now they view you as a match. King and Queen of Cups. They're very guilty about whatever it is that they went towards here. Or whatever they went to do instead. This is definitely somebody who didn't want to be tied down. Possibly somebody who wasn't ready for commitment as well. They could have told you that they were though with the Hierophant energy. With the Eight of Wands. And the Fool. Yeah, somebody wanted to be free. Somebody wanted to be three. Okay, so you have two people. I'm going to check out this new person over here, this, this more recent energy. And then we'll see where you stand on this, Pisces. Somebody left Pisces, but they view you as a match. This is somebody who's claiming to be ready for you now. And I don't know if it's because of some sort of um, elevation that you're having. <clears throat> Sorry, Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. I want to check out this, this newer energy here. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to get your attention, Pisces. Yeah, with the Four of Wands. This Four of Wands has come out twice for this person. This is somebody who wants something very, very stable. They want to lock something down with you, Pisces. This is definitely somebody who wants to come in and lock something down, all the way down. With the Seven of Wands, they feel like you are in a standoffish energy. They feel like you don't want it. With the Five of Cups, and that makes them very sad. How do you feel about this person over here? The Five of Swords, you don't trust them. How do you feel about this person over here? Two of Wands, indifferent. Wow. Six of Cups. You could feel like that because of your past. I'm going to call you out, Pisces, yes. You definitely could have had to have cycled through something. There's something about your past that's being mentioned here about you. It's like you have you feel like you've had to overcome something pretty difficult. And 
whatever with the judgment card whatever pisces i'm talking to you've done very well to do that you've done excellent in fact to do that and it's like you're in the energy now of i've had to overcome so much from the past back there and this could definitely be this person who wants to come in and who took off or ran off from you or what have you they definitely got scared got cold feet whatever it is and you really had to kind of like um, soldier through something here, Pisces. A different level of self-mastery um, has kind of been attained for you, Pisces. And it's like, you're not going to easily allow somebody into that space to compromise that. Especially if you feel as though um, you're not sure about somebody. I feel like you don't trust this person. Can you trust this person? The Knight of Wands. Can you trust this person? The fool. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, the Eight of Cups. I'll be honest with you. I feel like this person does have another person in their energy. The Queen of Wands is here. Um, this could be somebody who's either just left a connection and they were dealing with somebody like a friends with benefits, situationship, lightly dealing with somebody, not necessarily settled down, but they view you as settling down material with that four of wands coming out twice. This is somebody who views you as very stable, king of wands. Yeah, they're very attractive. They got a lot of attention. They possibly get a lot of feminine energies, wanting them, lusting after them. Um, even if this is a masculine, they get a lot of attention. A lot of people want to know this person. So I'm not going to sugarcoat that this is definitely somebody who wants to take a leap of faith in your direction this is somebody who is possibly dibbling and dabbling again with somebody else but it's like they would be prepared to leave that connection i don't feel like you've been intimate with this person i don't i feel like this is somebody who is in your energy who is looking at you as an admirer type of energy on the other hand i do feel like you've got a past with this person over here who took off wanted to be single and almost regret well they regret ignoring you this is somebody who definitely ignored you they felt like um they wouldn't turn back this is somebody who definitely felt like they wouldn't turn spin the block and it caused immense trust issues for you, Pisces. With the Three of Wands, I feel like you've got messages coming in from two places. Tell me where Pisces stands on this. Two of Pentacles, very indifferent. Very indifferent with the King of Cups. It's like, don't disturb my peace. You definitely could be in a spot where you're okay. Like, you like your life how it is. I don't want to say, like, um, stuck in your ways. But there's definitely a level of comfortability that you've attained by yourself. I'm talking to a single Pisces with the high priestess. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. That's Pisces energy. Spirit said, yeah. Hierophant. Self-mastery. Pisces energy. The High Priestess and the Hierophant. Wow. There's a level of self-mastery and div divine energy that you have stepped into that you do not want to be disturbed. Whoever I'm talking to, you're a Pisces. You don't want to be disturbed at this time. With a death card. Your energy is really like prominent right now because a lot of people could be viewing you in an energy of, yeah, don't talk to that Pisces, not that Pisces. Talk to any other Pisces, but that Pisces is about their business. That Pisces ain't got time. <laughs> Whatever it is that you went through here, it, it, it shows because your energy is speaking volumes, Pisces. With the page of wands, that's communication. You've got somebody who's going to reach out to you. Justice, yeah, this person here. Could be a Libra, yeah, with an offer. You've got someone here who's going to come in and offer you an opportunity here, Pisces, to get to know them, to um, date them, to, yeah, with the chariot card, to date them, to go out with them. But you've also got somebody else who is here from the past, okay, and repeating myself. This person is willing to drop a person who they are dating, 
I don't feel like they're committed to this person. Okay, this could be a fire sign. Um, to lock something down with you. There's something about you that they view as very, very solid and stable. They view you as, you know, somebody who they want to give an opportunity to. And that would be fair and just. This is somebody who feels like they are... You deserve them, they deserve you type of energy. Very, very clear. Very, very clear. But there's an elephant in the room, Pisces, with you where you may not go for this because there's a comfortability that you are experiencing where it's like you don't want to really disturb that with the sun and the seven of cups. You don't want to disturb that peace. You're possibly in a happy place, a happy space right now, Pisces, with the sun and with the seven of cups. You are almost feeling like dating right now would convolute your energy or contaminate your energy. I'm just saying. What else does Pisces need to be aware of? Let's try to get you some different messages. What's going on with Pisces money and work? The two of pentacles, very busy. Knight of Pentacles, the judgment. You could be changing something up at work. You could be rolling out some sort of new um, new way of doing something at work. If you are a business person, this could be adding a new product line or doing something like that, expanding somehow with the Seven of Pentacles. You're definitely waiting for some sort of change to happen because you've done the work to um, allow this to come in. With the five of swords people could be jealous of you at your work this could be how resilient you are how yeah with the crown of wands how um powerful you are at work you definitely could be somebody who is all about your business you know what you're doing you know your craft this is the type of energy of knowing your craft you've been in the business for a while or you're very experienced with whatever it is that you're doing you come with receipts you speak facts okay you know what you're talking about you don't just flap at the gums and it's you know frivolous you know what you're speaking about and people don't like this about you the same thing that makes you look good at work and with your career your money your endeavors is the same thing that people hate on you for you could have a specific fire sign that's hating on you or a scorpio with the four of wands yeah somebody doesn't want you to reach the level of success that they feel like you are destined for with the four of wands in the reverse somebody could want to throw you off or sabotage you with the ace of swords with the lovers in the reverse yeah this could be a gemini with the ten of pentacles it's like somebody sees that you are a person a, a force to be reckoned with okay this could even be a competitor of some kind definitely competition whatever it is that you do for your money or your work something that you do something that is um that drives you whatever it is that drives you be that your own business be that a specific craft that you do or just in a nine to five workplace, whatever it is, I'm trying to cover all bases because not everybody does the same thing. There's definitely competition. People competing with you so you don't reach that top position because you are definitely admittedly a force to be reckoned with. You could have definitely have been a part of something for a long time or you've been doing something, you've been in the game for a while with the Knight of Pentacles. But the Ten of Pentacles, it's only a matter of time before you reach this next pinnacle. You definitely are in very top form where it comes to your business, your work, your money. You look really good and people are very intimidated by this, Pisces. They are. A lot of people want to kind of knock you off your square. A lot of people want to kind of put spanners in your work so you don't kind of have the, the formula, if you like, to get all the way to this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, with the two of swords. There's a lot of people who are trying to kind of trip you up. Will they be successful? Nine of swords, nope. Knight of wands, nope. You're too big in this game. You're, you're, too, you're too good at what you do. Page of swords in the reverse, yeah. With the three of cups in the reverse. A lot of hating energy around your work. 
a lot of it Pisces whether it is that you do something online whether it is that you are in a nine to five or you do both there's a light that is 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 coming from you right now there's a light that people are very intimidated by and if anything they want to kind of um stop that for you let's pull you a general 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 messages for pisces three of swords three of swords the nine of wands and the page of swords oh somebody is is in pieces over you pisces this could be a gemini libra aquarius they're watching you, they spy on you, and whatever it is, they do not like it with the King of Swords. Somebody doesn't like it, whatever it is that they're watching. What are they seeing that they don't like? The Fool, your new beginning. This definitely could be an X with the Four of Pentacles, an X that holds on to you with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they've, they've held on to you. Whether, if you have an X that you feel, okay, it's been a while now, um, you're not in their energy anymore. You don't really talk to them. You don't see them. Um, and you feel like things have cut between the two of you. Energetically, this person has held on to you. They've never let you go. This is somebody who, <laughs> energetically, they're very loyal to you. <laughs> if that makes sense. With the Page of Pentacles. They would jump at the chance to come back in and have you. And they don't like what they're seeing. Tell me about the Nine of Wands the five this could be this person that's missing you you're gonna hear from this person i feel like we're back to back over here with this past person here with the chariot card somebody's kind of watching you move away from them distance from them and it's making them feel really really rotten inside somebody feels very lonely right now um with the two of pentacles and the strength card, somebody feels lonely and they don't know what to do with that feeling. And it's like they're watching you, Pisces, because somehow you fill a void for them because they've never let you go. Tell me about the three of swords. Yeah, the ace of swords. Somebody's getting some sort of clarity through turmoil about who you are, how they feel about you with the seven of cups. This could be somebody who felt like they were going to get over you, Pisces, especially with the Seven of Cups. And they're very confused as to why they still feel how they do. And I feel like it, it has a lot to do with some sort of energetic tie that this person feels towards you. This is definitely somebody who ghosted you. Somebody, the person who ran off from you, Knight of Swords, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person was very self-indulgent and selfish in the past. This is somebody who ghosted, abruptly left. This person definitely could have um, either av avoided you or ignored you. Left you on red. This is, this is a person who left you hanging, Pisces. Very, very clear. This is somebody who left you hanging. They thought that everything was going to be good. They thought that the grass was going to be great. And wherever it is that they were going was far better than Pisces. And now this person is in turmoil. And they're realizing something through some sort of pain that they're experiencing, Pisces. Possibly about loving you with the Ace of Cups. Somebody tried to let you go. And they can't with the eight of pentacles they could have distracted themselves worked on other things definitely tried to move on from you this person definitely felt like they were going to have some sort of bright new beginning and it's just not working out that way for them with the empress yeah they felt like they were going to be sitting pretty they could do good all by themselves they could do bad all by themselves what have you but with the page of pentacles this is somebody who's realizing that they were out of their depth where it comes to moving on from you pisces i i just feel like just in general just as an overview your attitude is very work focused you're very much tunnel vision in terms of your success and in terms of whatever it is that you're working on for your career, your money, your stability, your life in general. And I just feel like love is really not the focus. You've got two prominent energies here. Somebody who left, who can't replace you. And you've got somebody here who's trying to get your attention, who's wondering, you know, will you give them the time of day? I feel like you're going to have two people reaching out to you, Pisces. 
I do feel like you are on top of your game. So whatever it is that you're doing with your work, your money, your success, keep that stride going. You've got people who are jealous of you. You've got people who want to sabotage you because you just look too good. You look too good. And um, you've also got people admitting that, you know, they fumbled and they can't replace you. Take that as it resonates, Pisces. Pisces. I'm going to leave you there. That is what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, Pisces, sending you so much love and light. I will see you soon. Have a good day.